some stuff in the back now. My next invention is just going to be like a little shower you walk into with sunscreen. <laughs> That's like uh, classic. I told myself I was done with laces. Um, we're pretty well staying straight on this highway the, all the way to Tequila. Um, I'm going to let you guys go first. About 40 kilometers up ahead, there's like this old volcanic explosion, so it's super cool. Yeah, and then from that point, we head towards kind of like a long, long false flat to this place called Plan de Barrancas. Are you stoked? Yeah. Mama, no. We just had some tamales. I just had a sweet tamale burp. <laughs> Down this coffee, ready to roll. Andale. Recon for Kill Phil, but I think it's Destroy Boz. I'm cooked. Destroy Boz. <laughs> Destroy. <laughs> yeah. That's the hardest standing I've done since last, like, SPT or something. Colin rides fast. Yeah. I'm not in great shape. But it's fun. It's sweet. There, that one road after that town we went through, that was, like, a really sweet road. Every time I come to Mexico, I'm just like, I should just move here. At least part-time for the winter. It's just, it's so nice, and the people are so friendly. So first big ride in Mexico, is that is that right? That is correct. Yeah, this what is you... the first big ride in Mexico for me. How, how was it? First impressions? Un, unreal. Just scene change and beauty in a different way than we're used to. We are here in tequila. It would be appropriate to at least sample a couple of the local flavors, I think. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> vitamin C, you won't get sick? Yeah, exactly. Tequila will kill everything. Uh, and squirt, you know? When I did this road, it was very tough. Probably not for you. But uh, it's, it's really nice. There are barely some cars riding the, uh, that route. Mm -hmm. And it's a very uh, pretty new road because actually it was um, opened on December. Okay, wow. it's that new. So, yeah, and then you go downhill, you're gonna see a very big uh, dam. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you're going up. And should yeah. these up, guys, up. Uh, what, should, what should be their strategy? Just nice and steady and then save it for the climb? Is the climb tough? Well, yeah, it was for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well, we'll let you guys kind of get a little head start on us and get through town. We'll kind of meet you towards Magdalena, and and we'll uh, we'll have a great day. I'll jump on the bike just after Magdalena. Perfecto. Try to hold on to the express train. Perfecto. Andiamo. <laughs> okay. Vámonos. Ready? I don't feel horrible, but we did a good job of restraining ourselves last night, not drinking too much. We enjoyed some nice Mexican wine. We had a... 
What's the thing called? Cantarito. Cantarito. Yeah. Which is tequila. delicious. Yes. Right? Was, with fruit and beer. Yeah. But yep. not. But it's all within reason. Yeah. Good ride, right, fellas. That is awesome. <laughs> awesome in many respects. <laughs> the curves, the percentage of climb, the uh, distance uh, th that they came, the switchbacks, everything was unbelievably. And uh, these guys did a, what I consider a commendable job. And it's downhill from Total. here. Yeah, seven yeah. kilometers. And, and after that, you, you have hills uh -huh. again. Yeah, and then, like, yes. Okay. And then. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Just and then it trees and um, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, Hector, he's in charge of looking for tough uh, roads, and he discovered he first came uh, to to the dam, and then he saw that the the road continues, so he decided to explore this side of the of the road, and it was a very nice surprise. <laughs> You'd definitely be surprised if you're like, oh, I'm just like going to go for this ride, and next thing you know, you're 28 kilometers up and up at over 2,000 meters. Is this something you're hoping to take more people on for bike tours? Yeah, definitely. There's crazy people. There's a lot of crazy people. Well, there's definitely a sense of accomplishment when you <laughs> arrive at the top and you think, oh, cool, now we get to go back down. Um, but thanks so much for all the help today. It's been awesome to you know, get to know both of you, and also sounds like there's a lot more to explore in this area. I'll be back. Thank you. Sure. Nice to have you here. <laughs> that climb is insane. That's, that, yeah, that's I did so not expect cool. that. Like I don't know I don't know what I expect that I saw it, but you, know. <laughs> you told me hard. I, <laughs> okay. I saw I saw it okay. on the road, I saw it on the Strava. Yeah. You see it on the Strava is not the same. No. It took forty minutes with the minimum of eight percent. Minimum. Like you don't get to do less than three hundred watts for, <laughs> for no. an hour. Awesome climb. Tell Phil to bring his 
His grapple one? 23 cassette. Okay. Mostly flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Won't tell me anything about this one. No, uh, no. We'll cut that out no, no. of the Strava. I said you oh, I wasn't that It's just like a gray, like... <laughs> it's like false flat. <laughs> It's a sharpie. Just yeah. You should just get some like tequila manufacturer to like put up a million dollar prize and just get like Pogachar here to fucking race up this. Mm -hmm. It'd be so cool to watch someone like of that caliper go up this climb. This would be a good hill climb championship. Goodness. <laughs> well, because there's like literally very little rest. Like there's like two little breaks, but that middle section just never stops. But, but we'll kill it at Magdalena then and have, have lunch. lunch. Yeah. this? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Torta. It's Torta Tuesday! Torta Tuesday! Well, they're going to do some more climbing. It's kind of similar to day one. You know, we got to get over some smaller climbs. You know, they all kind of add up. I think around. 1800 meters or so of climbing before we get to Muscoda. But the last climb of the day going to Sierra Lago is is not for the faint of heart. So that's yeah. that's basically the, the appetizer, the big appetizer to La Bufa, because very similar uh, style of climb. What do you think, uh, Ian? What are you looking forward to today? Did you study the route? Well, I looked at it. I just, I guess, looking forward to seeing more new roads. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, lock and load. Come right back, go me fast. Was that a ride or was that like torture? Well, there's a lot. There, first, there was a ride, then there yeah. was torture. But yeah. you I know. thought that you had like been mistaken, like those little tracks. 
I thought it was yeah, like, going to go the whole way. I was like, oh, this would be sweet. When I first did it, I'm like, oh, what, is people, what are people talking yeah. about? This is nothing, right? Yeah. Well, there's just that one section in there that was like 20% and rough and loose. One but section? <laughs> it was a long one section. section. <laughs> a long section. I mean, mm. well, Colin and I were saying, like, it's horrible. I'm like, I don't want to do this. But like, then once you're on it, you're like, oh, I, you know it's going to mean in a sense of accomplishment when you get to the top. Yeah. And then look where we are. I mean, can you, like, do you really imagine you're going to find a place like this at the top? 2,000 meters in the middle of I mean, I would Mexico? I expect this. Well, Usually you find a nice, you know, dirt, dirt hut with some Coca-Cola, yeah. which is pretty good also, but in a different way. Yeah. It's just schwank. And they have a lot of bicycle theme. I saw a lot of bicycle art yeah. out and about here. I don't know. Yeah, that's cool. You got some cruisers. Yeah, you can rent cruisers. They have a bike path that goes around riding. the lake. Okay. Yeah, around like the lake. a paved okay. bike path. Maybe that's, maybe that's mm. your next event. The Sierra Lago... The Sierra Lago Crit. Crit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'd love that. And Colin, you went for a swim at <laughs> yeah. one point, right? I had to cleanse my face of salt. Oh, I am okay. a salty man, <laughs> and I could barely see. In that little canal? Yeah, <laughs> I saw <laughs> that, and I was like, that's, that's all I need. That was paradise. Yeah, that was my moment moment of zen. Well, thanks, guys. Well, we're not getting one, one day to go, yeah. but... I mean, oh yeah, one more day to go. I forgot about that one. This is the yeah. queen that's stage, like the, right? That's like the... Well, La Bufa is like, if, if you guys decide, it's it's a bit of more of a beast, but not much more. I'd say it's, it's a few more kilometers of this. Well, muy buenos dias. Muy buenos dias, guys. Buenos dias. Wow. Que buen dia. Que buen dia. That's pretty in incredible, eh? Yeah, this uh, this town. Well, we've made it almost to the end, and I think we've kind of uh, realized that it's time to just slow down and embrace a Mexican lifestyle today and be a little bit more touristy. Touristy, look yeah. Around. Look around. Yeah. Look around us. Smell the manure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Except there was a little bit. We were staying by a farm today uh, on an old ranch, which yes. has been renovated into cabins and pretty incredible. So big shout out to uh, Rancho Esmeralda. Hey, Paul, that's yeah. the second time and there. I, and I saw you guys kind of ride in behind the uh, cavalry. Vaqueros. Yeah. Yeah. Vaqueros. Vaqueros. Rush hour is cool. mascotas yeah. rough. There's like, you know, <laughs> these vaqueros think they own the road. Yeah. Like riding five wide and, yeah. you yeah, know, like we got to get to work. The vaquero right. peloton. <laughs> All right, so Ian, tell us about day four. We're going to modify it. We were going to do La Bufa, because you, you've done La Bufa, and we can, have. we can plan that for another day. Today is smelling the roses day. Yeah. So what yeah. are we going to do? Uh, we're going to head out and go down and pretty much just climb up to San Sebastian. And, you know, it's still a decent ride. I mean, it's still it's a little bit of climbing, fun downhill, little cobblestone to finish, but a day of pleasure, um, I think. And, you know, Colin and I are both flying out this afternoon. It's been a quick trip but it's uh, been very fulfilling and I feel like sometimes when everything's already been so pleasurable you don't always need to try to scratch for more and get you know let's just let's just enjoy it it's been fantastic let's have one more great great day out there what's your yeah. what's your take on things wow it's just been an incredible view uh, of kind of diving into this this region of Jalisco and uh, really seeing it from the from the roads and from the you know, the, the perspective of the bicycle. Mm -hmm. One of the best views you can have and one of the best ways to experience a region is really riding through it and, you know, feeling the wind and, you know, smelling the smells, and seeing the sights, and talking to people and um, having, you know, people look at you and look at them and it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's incredibly memorable. Uh, so highly recommend coming to this region of Jalisco and experiencing these roads. Um, yeah, whether it's tarmac or gravel, whatever you prefer, or even mountain bike, I'm and sure. Cobblestone. Cobblestones. <laughs> it's got many, it all. <laughs> how many tacos did you eat yesterday? I don't think we need to taco shame anybody <laughs> right now. I mean, at, l at least 16. Depends on if you're kind of doubling the tacos, because they give you yeah. th sometimes two tortillas, so yeah. easily, easily 15. And There's no we, shame in that. There's, There's, There's no pride. shame in that. There's I hope pride. we documented that cobble climb because that was the most brutal climb I've ever seen. <laughs> definitely. So it's got any whatever you want, whether it's it's a brutal experience, we definitely have that, uh, or if you just want to kind of cruise beautiful landscapes and you know drink the mezcal. All right, yeah. guys, you ready to roll? We're gonna have a nice roll Let's through the valley, it. and uh, before we begin to climb over the, they call it the Virgin Pass. Yeah, this is where they this, that's where they run passed. the yeah. people running with the with flame the torches, to yeah. finish. All right, All right, vamanos!
Well, guys, we're in San Sebastian del Oeste. What an epic trip. Yeah. You're supposed to, actually, we're supposed to do La Bufa, so you're supposed to have this look of death on your face right now, but, <laughs> but you don't. I feel a nice sense of satisfaction of where we're at. Mm -hmm. I have like, a sense of contentment. Yeah, like it was a nice, it was still like a, I mean, it's not an easy climb up here, no. but it also wasn't crazy hard. And it's like we, you know, we've enjoyed every day, but today was just like, you know, we stopped a couple extra times to take some pictures and yeah, no, no rush. It's just a nice uh, calming end to a otherwise high tempo hard but it riding trip. But it wasn't crazy. Like, you know, no, we still, no, we still got, home, manageable, yeah. got home early every day mm -hmm. yeah. and there was always time for a nap and there was always mm -hmm. time for a nice lunch and then dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Leaving early is, especially, you know, with the heat. Mm -hmm. Good to beat the heat, and yeah, it's nice to actually see the beat. sunrises. Yeah. yeah, that was pretty epic today. I don't know which was your out of the four days. What was your favorite ride with all things considered? Ian, I don't know. Maybe the the day to La Yesca. Mm -hmm. I guess for me, also loving climbs. Just, just like early sunrise with the blue agave, and then I know Colin wasn't a huge fan of that climb, but <laughs> I enjoyed it because I, I was I was so blown away by how ridiculous of a climb it was mm -hmm. you know i didn't you told me about it but i just didn't actually expect that there was a climb like that with no traffic that was brand new and we had great great food afterwards as well it was a prime like prime, a prime day. bonus yeah. prime day prime bonus mm -hmm. what about you colin i i'd say ian almost took the words out of my mouth uh, i'd say the climb to la yesca was the most memorable uh all in all just the flow of that that day with the you know the the passing through the uh, blue agave fields in the morning and then into this wild, massive landscape down to the dam and then up this behemoth of a climb. It was For me, it was the most challenging ride I think I've ever, course-wise, ever done. Uh, so yeah, that was it was a s serious challenge, but uh, by the end of it, it was an yeah. incredible experience to complete. So I'd say I'd go with La Yesca. And, yeah, but and you guys both have done some serious rides in your yeah. lives. Yeah, I mean, I think there's like a bonus to every day. Though. I mean, even like that first day, that section of road that we found before we got to La Mag Magdalena. Magdalena, yeah. That was a gorgeous road. And like even today, like it wasn't the most like crazy ride, but it was yeah. nice and cool starting in... No traffic. Mascota, no traffic. Yeah. It was like, you know, did a cool climb, awesome descent, and then just got to, you know, kind of kick back and enjoy pedaling bikes and chatting about, you know, what we've seen in the trip and... No incidents? No incidents, yeah, that's why like, we got here. I'm like, you know what? We've had no no flats, no mechanicals, no crashes, no major sunburn for me. Yeah. So, you know what? Just count your blessings, <laughs> put the bike in the bag, and then let's go All to the airport. Day. All good All times. Yeah. No bad days. Yeah, I mean, you can't complain with that. I mean, it was four days. I guess if you include the first day, we did five days, four days of riding total? Yeah, five days. Well, including five days. The first day, yeah. And we probably did, what? I don't know, 400 miles or something? Yeah. Yeah, probably something like and that. And lots of elevation. Yeah. Ton, yeah. Tons of good memories too. Visual, yeah. stunning visuals that will, you know, will carry with me a while and yeah, beautiful days on the bike. Yeah. Well, cool guys. Well, again. Hasta luego. Hasta Always pronto, Joel. Nice to meet you. Indeed. All right, bro. Well, I think that's a wrap, hey, Paul? That is a wrap. Yeah. An amazing trip. It was an amazing trip. I mean, even though I've done these trips before and trips like this, I mean, there's always something new that I see, even though I live here. And it's also cool seeing it through the eyes of people who haven't experienced it before, yes. and it brings it all back, right? It does, and that it actually actually gives me a lot of joy. Like, and to have people like Colin and Ian come here, who have ridden in some of the most beautiful places of the world, and see their expressions and their reaction to riding in Mexico, it makes it all worthwhile. So if you're looking for a different kind of experience, and we talked a lot about this on the ride with them, it's like, you know, everyone goes to California, everyone goes to Hawaii, everyone does that trip to Italy or France. I mean, you know, going to Europe can cost you several thousand dollars, you know, a person for a 10 to 14 day trip, where you could do that for a fraction of the price here in Mexico. And it's, it's just as beautiful, if not more beautiful in certain parts. You know, would you not agree? Yeah, and I would just add on the the, the great food. Oh my God, the food. <laughs> We've had some really, really good food. Yeah. I think if I did a road trip and I said this, uh, we'll have a little more um, variety of stuff that we'll have on board. Uh -huh. So I thought, I'll be going to bring a rice cooker the next time. Okay. You know, so I can do some rice and beans, okay. some fresh tortillas. And we were pretty well stocked, but I just found some things that we could do a little bit better. So on sure. that note, if you want to do something different, 
Uh, whether it's just one of our easy tours out of Bucerias, if you come for a beach vacation, we do rides from anywhere from two hours long up until a full day. And if you want to do something multi-day, we could do a week-long camp here in the mountains. We could do a point-to-point -point trip like we did with, uh, with Ian and Colin. You know, just reach out to Jillian at bcboosterius.com. That's my lovely wife. And she'll ask you all the important questions and we'll put together something fun for you and your group. So on that note, as we like to say from one of our sponsors, moving to Mexi.go, and you better go uh, follow them on, on YouTube because we are always, well, them is me and Paul, yeah. but we're always kind of giving away a trip every, every month. Uh, also, thanks to VeloGuide, where you can connect with a guide and a cyclist all over the world. And again, a big shout out to BC Boosterius and MaraviaNairit.com. And I think that kind of touches on everybody. And everyone who helped make this trip a reality. Yeah, Bob and NJ. Bob, and NJ. Oh, yeah. And I didn't really forget about them because I know. But yes, thank you, Bob. And thank you, NJ, my son, who is doing a lot of the uh, social media uh, for this trip and taking over the social media for all of our companies on a regular basis. And on that note, I'm going to give the moving to Mexi.co send-off. Muchas gracias. Nos vemos hasta luego en Adios desde San Sebastián del Oeste.